the best junior heavyweights in the world, a brainchild of Jushin Thunder Liger, the first tournament in 1994, and the defending champion El Fantasmo back in the field. This year, an eight-man tournament. One of those eight is my guest this time, Ray Oris is with me, fantastic luchador. And I cannot wait to see how you do in this tournament. How are you feeling? Oh, so Kevin, um, very excited, very honored. Uh, I think this this is one of my biggest uh, accomplishments 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 in my career. This is one of my dreams to 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 work finally uh, in New Japan and doing it uh at the super junior super super jacob sorry uh it's a dream come true you can't get better than this i'm so excited oh yeah and and i know that of course there is there is a history of uh luchadors who've com competed in the super jacob uh throughout the years what would it mean to you for for the mask, for your family, for your heritage, for for everything that you represent, what would it mean to you to win the Super J Cup? This is this is huge. Just just by by being uh, honored to participate in this big tournament, uh, that's huge for me. But oh man, I think just by being the the only uh, Mexican, the only luchador uh, on this tournament. Uh, it's it's a big deal because I have to represent them. You know, I'm not only re I'm representing my 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 country, and and I'm representing my my company that it's Ring of Honor. So uh, I'm gonna give it my all, and and man, I'm so happy because I think uh, I'm I'm. It's been a while since a a, a native from Tijuana. Uh, have uh, a trabajado or uh, has worked in New Japan. I think the last time a, a, a Tijuana native worked worked with you guys, it was '95. It was Damien at the Super J Cup '95, wow. and then they had I think in a special match, uh, Rey Mysterio Jr. and and Psychosis. So for them to be to be for me, sorry to continue their path like their steps and and. And just by working at New Japan, it's a it's a dream come true, and I'm so hyped. I'm 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 so excited to to bring my own style, and 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 the lucha libre style. I'm 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 happy because I'm representing the luchadors. Yeah, and you have a uh, a long career as as many luchadors have done. Uh, you start when you're very very young. When did you when did you begin wrestling? When did you start training? Oh, nice, nice, good question. I think my 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 story is very different from uh, other other nor, uh, normal or regular luchadors that that start since they were like little kids. My my sport was was different. I used to I I since I was like eight years old to twenty four, I played baseball. So I started oh. I started yeah I started like like. Like ya grande with with uh, like older. I started older in the, in the wrestling business, but I started 24 tra training with Rey Mysterio Senior. But man, I, I've always been been in sports, and I and I as as soon as I I started training lucha libre, I knew that that was my passion, and it's now been like 10 years since I debuted it. So. It started as a hobby, then became, I knew that was my passion, and then it became like my professional career. When you, um, when you look at uh, the, the, the wrestlers in the tournament, uh, you have, of course, uh, you as a, a luchador representing Ring of Honor. We have free agents like ACH and TJP. We have Young Lion like Clark Connors, and we also have uh, free agent Leo Rush, as well as New Japan stars. Uh, so El Fantasmo is in the tournament and it's going to be a very tough road. But your first opponent is from GCW and he's Blake Christian. Um, yes. We, again, we've gotten to know Blake through seeing him on New Japan Strong, but uh, before you're stepping into the ring with him, how much experience, how much knowledge do you have about Blake Christian? Have you ever seen him wrestle? Yes, I haven't seen. I have seen before. Uh, you know, if if you're in this business, you have to be involved in everything. And and 
and Blake is he's a guy he's a uh, uh, a wrestler with a lot of talent and he's been killing it everywhere so I'm very excited uh, as soon as I, I knew about about my opponent I started a series like studying you know it's been a while since I've wrestled it's gonna be nine months yeah but I, I, I'm gonna try to to do to be prepared as much as much as I can so I know that he's very very talented he's very athletic but you know, Ray, I I know I have my thing and I have my stuff and I have experience, a lot of experience. I've I've been uh, I've worked a lot of important tournaments before, and I know I know that that it's gonna be a real real good match well, against against Blake. Yeah, we're looking forward to seeing it, and it's gonna be a a grueling road because it's all in one night. It's all on December twelfth. Uh, so it starts for Ray Oris against Blake Christian, and then we'll see how the tournament goes. Can he uh, wear the gold jacket and hold the beautiful trophy? It would be just awesome to see, my friend. I would love to see that. Oh, man, I think I, I have my a lot of my hopes up because uh, uh, I've wrestled like most of the guys, uh, but uh, I think only I've only wrestled a Fantasma on a singles over at seas in Europe at Fight Club Pro and and I won that match so so mm -hmm. I think I have like a lot of I think I'm excited because I, I have a, a lot of opportunity to 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 advance in this tournament you know he is uh he's very uh, El Fantasmo is a very annoying person uh, he's very mean to me and to many of the staff and rude to the wrestlers he's uh last year when he won the super j cup jushin thunder liger gave him the jacket he threw the jacket down gave him the trophy he kicked the trophy he's a jerk and i hope you yeah, beat I him i know i know no respect no respect for no. for 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 anyone you know he has no respect he the first time i wrestled him he he wanted to play mind games instead of actually wrestling but that's 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 like the difficult part of him because he plays mind games, but at the same time he knows how to wrestle, you know. So that's that's uh, hard to control in the match. But uh, but uh, like I said, I think I have uh, uh, a lot of experience that I have wrestled uh, different type of of wrestlers or luchadors from all uh, over the world. So I think I'm I'm, I'm used to this. I, I, I know we have a lot of uh, Spanish-speaking fans all over the world who are watching. Uh, would you like to send a special message to them to invite them to watch you in the Super Jacob? Sí, claro que sí. Eh, para toda mi raza latina, no se pierdan este próximo 12 de diciembre. No se lo pierdan el gran evento de Super Jacob 2020, donde estará El Sol de Tijuana y representando México, Rey Oros, y los voy a dejar muy en alto. I want to thank you very much for your time, my friend. I want to wish you the best of luck, Rey Oros, our guest, and the Super J Cup on December the 12th. You can see it all unfold on NJPWWorld.com, or you can order it on Fight TV. Yes. Thank you very much.